Hi, and welcome to a very quick episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. Now, this has all just come out this afternoon, so the, the full video on this will be tomorrow. But Angela Rayner is in deep trouble, and it's all to do with hypocrisy, lies, and tax evasion, or probable tax evasion. She had several houses. She registered at one, lived at another. She did this to avoid paying stamp duty when she sold one of the houses. Her children were registered at one house on their birth certificate. She was registered as living at a different house. Did she ever nominate which house was her private residence to HMRC? Did she pay any capital gains on it when she sold it if she owned a different house, which, of course, she should have? Which house was she registered to vote in? These are questions that need to be uh, to be answered. And Rayner had claimed that voter fraud just doesn't exist, which is why they are pushing ahead with uh, postal votes. And yet uh, she was obviously doing exactly that. If she was living in one house but registered to vote in a different house, that too is voter fraud. This woman has so many, many questions to answer. Did she rent it out? Did she declare the rental income? You know, these are also there. And does she believe that houses can be sold to residents and then they can make a profit when they sell them on? Again, hypocrisy from the left. But ultimately, the biggest question of all is, does Keir Starmer still have confidence in Angela Rayner and will he retain her in his cabinet? Full story tomorrow. Thanks very much for listening. Bye.